action. Okay, uh, let's do this. How, how, how can I help? How can I help? Well, we just uh, we just kind of wanted to get some thoughts uh, about Maggie from her former suitors. <laughs> yeah. So if you yep. could just kind of elaborate on you know Maggie and your relationship with her, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if your camera can handle the magical stories I have, but uh, I'll do what I can. Um. She's getting married, huh? Yes, she is. Okay, um, well, let's see here. I, I guess it all starts back to, I think it was 1994, when I was at a Spin Doctors concert that my family and I, we go to annually, huge Doctors fans. And we have this fun game that we play, my family and I, and it's me, my mom, my mom, my granddad, and and when we're there, our favorite song is Little Miss Can't Be Wrong. And I remember we were doing this game where we just chant and chant. In between every song, chant, Little Miss, Little Miss, Can't Be Wrong, Can't Be Wrong. And the crowd, I mean, everybody around us is loving it. It's, it's, just, it's just so much fun. And I see this one, I see this one girl um, who starts joining in on the chant. And we lock eyes, and next thing you know, we're arm in arm, and we are just little miss, little miss. And I don't remember if it was between, I think it was between Pocket Full Kryptonite and Two Princes, they sang the song. And uh, there was just something about this girl and the song and the doctors and the energy. And uh, I just, I, it's not like I leaned over and I, I just gave her the most powerful kiss on the cheek that I to this day I can I can still feel I can feel that uh, and that's how it all started and, and from then on it was just absolute absolute magic I mean that was the best the best night of my life I would say and there's three reasons for that um, the first is that Jim Blossom's total surprise came out and did a cover um, and the second reason I found a buffalo nickel on a buffalo nickel, that's pretty awesome. And the third is I, I met Meg. I met Meg Sears. And uh, from that night on, things got pretty hot and heavy. Um, I would say that pretty much saw each other once, twice a week. You know, no big deal. Uh, she met my grandparents right away. Um, and we just, we would just have fun. We'd do crazy shit. Um, I'm sorry, can I say that? Uh, I did crazy stuff. I remember one time, uh, this was back when they had VHS, we rented a couple movies from Blockbuster, and uh, we brought them back, we didn't rewind them. That was one thing. Um, we used to do things like, we, you know, we'd get a little crazy, get hopped up on Mountain Dew, and we'd uh, drive up and down the street without our seatbelts on. Just real nutty stuff, and I remember this one time, I, uh, I said to her, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's really up it a notch, and uh, let's, have, uh, let's see if you can hold their breath underwater the longest. So we filled up the bathtub, and, uh, you know, she lasted about 10 seconds, and I had to be a real hero, real hero, and I, uh, I ended up staying under there a little too long, and I, I ended up passing out for about a good 10 seconds, and it was scary. It was a scary time in our relationship, and I just remember things from that day on got a little bit weird. Um, so now flash forward to 2000. Doctors are coming to Hartford, and of course Meg and I are going. Meg's at work. I'm getting out early. So she says, you know, do you mind, uh, Kel, do you mind stopping at Whole Foods and getting a couple of items so we can tailgate, start the party early? I said no problem. Well, I ended up running late too, and I was meeting Meg at the concert, and uh, I ended up going to Stop and Shop, which has all the same stuff that. Whole Foods has, except might not be organic. You know, I got the baguette, I got the bottle of water, same thing as Whole Foods. When I got the tabbouleh, it was tribe brand, just like Meg likes, and they didn't have uh, the organic, they had the all natural. I bought the all natural. I bought the all natural, I put 
put it in Tupperware. I figured she'd never, never know, you know. And uh, we um, we got there to the concert, start breaking out the, the bread and, and the water and starting to party. Everything's going good. And Meg tore off a uh, piece of the baguette, put it into the bowl, took a big bite, and right away I knew. I, I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She said, this isn't the organic. And uh, it just it got to be a weird night. It got to be a really weird night. Um, we went into the concert as lovers and left the concert not as lovers. Um, it's, it's funny how a Spin Doctor's concert can be the best night of your life and then a Spin Doctor's concert can be the worst night of your life. Left the concert. Um, we didn't even take the same car home. Meg uh, ran into some of her yoga friends and uh, they gave her a ride home. And uh, I ended up, ended up going home alone that day. You know, it's like, it's crazy because, you know, she is my little Miss Can't Be Wrong. And, I, and, and she just could not be wrong about that tabouli. You know what I mean? She just could not, she just could not be wrong about that tabouli. And uh, I believe it's, that was probably, that was probably the last time I saw Meg was at that concert, at the, uh, the doctor's concert. Well, Caleb, we uh, we know this was hard for you, uh, but we really appreciate the time. Yeah, I mean, anything I can. Is he a good guy? Is he a good guy? Not not really, but you know, yep. um, she's yeah. happy. So yeah. it's not that Yoga Dave guy, is it? No, no, no. Oh, thank God. Um, I guess hey, to to the happy couple, to the happy couple. You know, she could have been. Could have been. Yep. I, I, I can't. Well, well, thank you.